Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good today. It's Tuesday, May 14th. Currently it's 63 degrees. High today is going to be 74. Chance of rain 75% and winds at 4 mile per hour right now. Uh, we both have dentist appointments today. Mine is just for a cleaning, cleaning, but Joy's is after mine to get her those bottom teeth pulled. So, um, yeah, be praying for her. She's, she's real nervous, and I am too. I mean, if something happens to her, it happens to me, you know, and uh, I, I just, you know, I'm just as nervous as she is, bless her heart. So, anyway, going to get that done, and then I think I said it would take at least three weeks before she could, um, you know, get the uh, things for the, uh, the, you know, they have to have a, put a mold thing in there. I remember they did that with this stuff in it and they push down and they get an impression of your teeth or no teeth or whatever, you know. Mine had the teeth up front, you know, all these. And then I got the partials for upper and lower. She's gonna have a full upper i think that's what the plan is and the partial for the lower so we'll see um today there will be an out and about with mike and joy when we went to ollie's it's been several days ago and then uh i also have a haul that'll be on i guess uh wednesday i guess um so we'll see uh but today i'll have an out and about with mike and joy when we went there and for a, for probably a week or something, Joy's not going to be able to eat much, uh, you know, the regular stuff that we would fix for dinner. So uh, Logan and I are just going to have, I'm just going to fix some of the stuff that we bought, you know, for, for us. And um, with it being two of us, some of it might last two nights, you know. And we got, uh, I made beef stew for uh, Mother's Day and we got some of that left over so we're gonna have it tonight and that'll be easy just to heat it up okay I'm, i don't know i might fix some cornbread i'm not for sure about that um if not we'll have some bread of some kind or something with it so anyway let's see jokes of a day okay after completing his annual physical on a patient the doctor asked if there was anything that was bothering him joe replied yeah my hearing the doctor examined Joe's ear and removed some earwax. Then he asked Joe if his hearing was better. Joe said, I don't know. The hearing isn't till next Tuesday. <laughs> it's talking about a court hearing. <laughs> okay. Signs of too much 21st century. You try to enter your password on the microphone. I mean, <laughs> microphone. You try to enter your password on the microwave. That's more like it. <laughs> Not microphone. You haven't played solitaire with re real cards in years. Uh, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever hardly played it before. You have a list of 15 phone numbers to reach your family of four. You email your colleague at the desk next to you to ask if they're ready to go to lunch. You chat online regularly with a stranger from the U.S., but you haven't spoken to your next door neighbor yet this year. Your reason for not staying in touch with friends is that they do not have an email address. Your idea of being organized is multiple colored post-it notes. You hear most of your jokes via email rather than in person. When you go home after a long day at work, you still answer the phone in a business manner. When you make phone calls from home, you accidentally dial 9 to get an outside line. <laughs> okay, thought of the day is from... Marthy Trolley Curtain. Uh, time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Okie dokie. And I had a, they had a trivia time, uh, quiz or whatever you want to call it. Trivia time right beside of the, uh, a joke a day. Uh, take quiz. Let's go to it. My allergies been awful i've been sneezing a lot the taj mahal is built primarily out of what material wood marble granite concrete wood marble granite concrete 
Hmm. I don't know. If, I don't know if they use marble for other things besides, you know, floors. Uh, wood, marble, granite, concrete. I'm going to say granite. No, it is marble. So, I did not know. The Taj Mahal is an immense mausoleum of white marble built in Agra between 1631 and 1648. Wow. That'd be 17 years. By order of the Mughal Emperor Shah Hanan in memory of his favorite wife. <coughs> what do you call a material that does not conduct electricity? There's a little. Instigator, deconductor, insulator, alternator. Okay, it does not conduct electricity. Instigator, deconductor, insulator, alternator. What sounds most likely to me is insulator. Yeah. The flow of electricity is called current. Metals are generally very good conductors meaning they let current flow easy. A material that does not let current flow easily is called an insulator. So I got that one. Hold on just a minute. Okay, what is the main component of steel? Iron, copper, nickel, silver. Iron, copper, nickel, silver. Um, seems like copper, nickel, or silver would make it more expensive. Uh, or something, you know, because it's they're worth more. I'm going to say iron. That's right. Steel is an alloy of iron and carbon in which the carbon content ranges up to 2%. With higher carbon content, the material is defined as cast iron. Okay, by, by far the most widely used material for building in the world's infrastructure and industries. Okay, termites eat into which building material and cause damage? Um, I think this is rather, I mean, this is, this is a goofy one. I, I'm going to skip this one, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, the, here's the answers. Aluminum, bricks, steel, wood. I mean, <laughs> how could they uh, cause damage to aluminum, steel, or bricks? I don't see how they could eat a brick. Uh, so it's that's too easy. Wood. Next question. What is the main material used to make glass? This is kind of. I mean, you, you you might not know, but uh, I know it's very. This is very easy for me as well. Tin, steel, silver, sand. Okay, that's just, I don't see how you could make glass out of tin, silver, or steel. And it's just too easy, so I'm a, it's sand. I'm just going to skip that one as well. Too, too easy. Okay, this is awful easy to me too, good grief. But I can't skip every one, so let's go with this one. What material is used to make pencil leads? Copper? Gold, graphite, zinc. Honey, my pencil's worth $2,000. It's gold. It's graphite. Easy. Uh, contrary to popular belief, the lead in everyday pencils is not lead at all, but rather a mixture of graphite and clay. I got plenty of clay out here. In my ground. What piano, white piano keys were once made from what material? Ivory, lead, tin, pearl. Hmm. Ivory, lead, tin, pearl. This is easy for me as well. I don't know if it is for you, but you ever heard of uh, tickling the ivories playing piano? Yes. The earliest pianos built 300 years ago had keys that were made entirely of wood, but then ivory became a preferred material due to its polished appearance, durability, and texture. 
Ivory typically comes from the tusk of elephants, and that was banned in 1975, ivory. Which of these types of wood is widely used because of its low weight? Balsa wood, iron wood, vera wood, quibrach, quibracho. I don't know what that is, what quibracho is. Okay, balsa wood, iron wood, vera wood, quibracho. This one's pretty easy too, it's balsa wood. Valued across the world for its strong but light wood, the balsa tree, I thought I heard kitty down there. Uh, balsa tree is native to the rainforest of South America. Doo -doo. The balsa tree gets its name from the Spanish word for raft because of the wood's high buoyancy. Five right, one wrong. What is armor made of interlinking metal rings called? I was just, uh, it was on, um, there was something on YouTube. It was on the shorts or something. And uh, I don't think it was the shorts. Maybe it was on Facebook that was talking about this very thing, this armor. Uh, Br brigandine, lamellar, plate armor. Chain mail, brigadine, lamellar, plate armor, chain mail. There you are. I thought I, thought I felt you running around. How you doing? Oh, you sweet Eve. What happened? Okay, I say it's chain mail. That's right. Chain mail, properly called mail or mail but usually called chain mail or chain mail. <laughs> it's a type of armor consisting of small metal rings linked together in a pattern to form a mesh like that. And what I saw was they, um, I don't know how they dug them up. There was something happened, construction or something or other. And they um, dug up these uh, uh from medieval times, I guess, where they had a war. I don't know if they were, you know, digging, knowing that they, that stuff was there or what. I can't remember what the situation was. Like it was, but anyway, they found uh, like skulls with their uh, armor still on and the chain mail over their head and stuff. And it showed one of them. Anyway, I thought it was an interesting article. Which of these is a synthetic material? Cotton, nylon, silk, paper. That is so easy. I just can't. Too easy for me as well. Again, I'm just going to skip this one. I I, there's too many on this. I'm having to skip though. Nylon, of course. Uh, 92% got nylon. Okay, I guess. Uh, what were U.S. pennies originally made of? Silver, copper, gold, iron. You know, I mean, I guess there's still some. Uh, well, silver, gold, copper, iron. I guess there's still some copper in it. But, I, I mean, when they were first started, I think they were all copper. Yeah. A, a 1792 law directed American money to be made of gold, silver, and copper. Gold was used in the ten dollar, five dollar, and two fifty pieces. The dollar, half dollar, quarter dime, and half dime were composed of silver. The cent and half cent were made of copper. Hmm. Okay, I got seven right and one wrong. Hmm. Okay, I might, I might not even know this uh, for sure myself, so this is a little better. What are diamonds made of? Calcite, carbon, feldspar, quartz. Shows some diamonds. Calcite, feldspar, carbon, quartz. I say they're carbon. Right. Diamonds are made of carbon. They form deep within the earth about 100 miles or so below the surface in the upper mantle. 
In these conditions of high temperature and pressure, they bond together and start growing crystals. Wow. One more. Okay, which construction material helped the Roman pantheon to survive? Hmm. Volcanic ash, marble dust, sand, clay. Wow. I wouldn't think it'd be sand. Volcanic ash, marble dust, sand, clay. I'm going to go with clay. No, it's volcanic ash. Uh, for years, researchers have figured there must be something special about the concrete used to build the Pantheon and other Roman monuments that lend them such longevity. Many scientists have pointed to the practice of including volcanic ash in the concrete mix. In a new study, researchers drilled down into the chemistry of Roman concrete to find out what makes it so resilient, as they suspected the key ingredient was the specific blend of limestone and volcanic ash used in the mortar. Isn't that something? So I ended up with eight right and two wrong. I just had to skip some of them. It's just, it's just almost ridiculous how easy they are. I mean, termites, what do termites eat? You know, uh, aluminum, uh, steel, uh, you know, wood. <laughs> so anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed trivia time and morning coffee break today. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Um, yeah, we are dreading going, I, you know, I'm just having my teeth clean, but I, I'm just really nervous for her. You know, I'm used to everything happening to me. Like ending up in the hospital, surgeries, this and that, you know, all the time, tests, different tests and stuff, but um, not used to it being her. So uh, just got me, got me nervous too. So anyway, it'll be over before you know it. And, uh, it'll be, uh, when it's all said and done, she'll have some nice, nice teeth, you know, it'll be real good. So Anyway, I hope uh, y'all have a great day. Did I already ring that? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, definitely check out Out and About with Mike and Joy today when we went to Ollie's. And have a great day, and God bless.